how can sports organizations and, for example, brands support athletes who raise their voice or who want to stand up for their rights? There's a, there's a lot of different ways that, that organizations, brands can do it. Uh, I would say one of, the, one of the partners that I have is Nike. And they've, they've done an amazing job supporting athletes on this front. Um, How? Tell us a little more to get they, insights. <laughs> to, to give a few different examples, first one being in 2018, um, when we did a Crazy Dreams campaign. And it was one of the biggest marketing campaigns in Nike's history and I think one of the biggest campaigns in history, period. But it was not a comfortable moment for a brand to support the movement that was happening in the US and that was happening globally. There was a lot of backlash, a lot of vitriol, um, a lot of anger that was directed towards them. <laughs> no. Does that mean we have to leave? <laughs> <laughs> it means, yeah, the trade fair is over, but it's not over, so we're just waiting for her to finish. <laughs> I think you don't want to leave right now, don't you? No, exactly. <laughs> Nobody wants to leave here. <laughs> Uh, but at that moment in time, that wasn't comfortable. Uh, but in them making that decision, what, that also became a defining moment because we saw the support from communities, we saw the support from fans, we saw the support from athletes. That really shifted how other brands looked at things and said, you know what, really? this is actually good for us in supporting people that are taking stands because they're actually representative of people and communities that we're trying to serve anyways. So that became a very defining moment. And the other part is they've been very supportive of Know Your Rights Camp, which is my foundation and the work we do in uh, communities. So there's a lot of different ways that brands can be supportive, everything from brand campaigns and partnerships down to supporting community work. And I think everything in between. You're talking about, uh, about your, um, your campaign. Well, not campaign. How do you say that? That know your rights? Yes. Is it, what, yeah, campaign is the, uh, the right word, foundation maybe. Yeah. Um, you started with it, you set it up very early. It's committed to providing legal assistance to victims. So um, what I would like to know is, has the systematic exclusion not changed nowadays in 2023? Yeah, it, it's tough because in certain areas we, we see movement and progress. In other areas, we see regression. Um, so, for example, in 2022 was the deadliest year of police killings in US history. So even after George Floyd and global protests, after all the work that organizers did, 2022 we still had more people killed by police than ever in history. Uh, what we've seen recently is affirmative action get overturned, which uh, affirmative action in the US means that black people, brown people, women will get equal opportunities in relation to employment, in relation to education, that got overturned recently. So we're seeing, we're seeing these things get pulled back, but we're also seeing areas where there's progress. Um, and that could be opportunities within business that specific companies are making decisions. But as a system, there's still a lot of work to do to be on the right track and create a future that becomes equal for everybody 
Um, and everybody has the equal opportunity to be able to be successful. Reflecting on those various roles you have, what would you like, if you are thinking of uh, a couple of years ahead, what would you like to be your legacy to young people? I would want my legacy to be someone who fought for a better future. I, I constantly go back to that uh, because the ideal future is very hard to define. We can define it on a high level of a, we don't want racism to exist, sexism to exist, Islamophobia or xenophobia, these things to exist. Um, we don't want poverty to exist or hunger to exist. Very big things that are hard to address. But in thinking about my legacy, if I, leave, if I leave this earth and I have made progress towards accomplishing any one of those or a number of those, to me, I'm being successful. And ultimately, I, I hope that's how I'm remembered as someone who was pushing for that future that everybody could thrive in. <laughs> All right.